Hey y'all, it's Alicia and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoplop and I'm super excited because the one thing about being, you know, homesick is that I get to catch up on a bunch of things and I've got something really exciting and really generous and really wonderful to share with you. And today's the perfect day to do it. And if this doesn't make me smile, nothing will make me smile and it can see it makes me smile. So Crafty Michelle won a $25 gift card that she decided to donate back to help with postage. And I, I really didn't want to do that. Crafty Michelle is amazing. She always participates, always supports, always sends in amazing stuff for challenges, sent me in a beautiful package for the holidays. And it's so expensive to ship from the UK folks. It's as expensive as it is from almost, almost from Australia. So I, you know, I really didn't want her to do that. But she was really concerned about the cost of We Wishes and she wanted to make sure that there was enough funding to get everything out and it was important to her. So I had an idea and I thought was thinking on it and then right before I could finish thinking about it, sneaky, absolutely Alice, and it was sneaky and I'm going to tell you all why in a minute, snuck in $25 into my PayPal account. And I'm not kidding. And in fact, really did sneakily sneak it in because usually if, it, if your PayPal account registers from somebody um, that had, hasn't had before, you can reject it, which I'm going to come to in a second because an angel who wants to remain anonymous tried to deposit a sizable amount of money into my account. And I know why you were doing it. Um, and I can guess it's one of like six people, but I rejected it. But Alice was so sneaky. She was so sneaky because she, she's not a new user on my thing. And so it accepted it without asking me. And I was like, oh, but I could have refunded it. And I was texting with her and I decided instead this is what I would do. Because Crafty Michelle and Alice were super generous, and I mean super generous. So like Michelle gave back her $25 and Alice threw in $25 that was $50. There was something I really wanted to do as part of the We Wish program, but I couldn't do it because there just wasn't enough money. But thanks to Crafty Michelle and Absolutely Alice, folks, there is now. So this is an idea inspired by Tree Craft On. Do y'all remember when she took this on and she was like, okay, I'm going to see if I can make these. And she one by one tackled each and every one of them. And I told you all I was really impressed. Like, because I agree, Tree, we can make these if we study them, right? And then there's another package that's new out, or maybe just new to me, of crepe paper flowers like this, but they're less actually ornate. You wouldn't need a flower dye. I looked at them carefully. They're part of the Sunny Days flowers, and they're also made from crepe paper. So I was like, okay, can I get a couple more packages of these? Now remember, I don't have a Tuesday morning here. I don't have any craft stores here. So I had to go online, and these were sold out in most places. So I was like, uh-oh how am I going to get? I need an order for this program to work. I need a couple more packages. Folks, I got lucky. I found someone on Etsy and they weren't severely overcharging. Most people on Etsy, if they're selling you this, they've marked it up like seven times, but this person wasn't and wasn't. And when I explained what I was doing, didn't charge me for shipping. I couldn't believe it. I was like so impressed. So I was able to get two more of these. And then thanks to a huge sale, a huge sale at scrapbook.com. I was able to get the sunny days ones for $2.99 a package. All right. So suddenly, because I don't want to waste their money, they each put in $25 each for shipping. So purchasing the other two for this and the other three I, was not coming out of their money, right? It was out of my funds. And remember, I told you I didn't use my emergency funds this month. So I had some money to play with. So, okay, so I was able to get the two packages of these and three packages of the, or three or four packages of the flowers, the crepe paper flowers. So now I can do something because I have money to ship all this out because of Crafty Michelle and Absolutely Alice. And it's called Take One, Make One, and Pass It Along. That's what it's called. So in other words, you're going to take one of these. You're going to pick one. One of these or the crepe paper flowers, depending upon which one you receive in the mail. And you're going to take one of them and you're going to recreate it. And then you're going to pass the one you created and the leftover package of this onto another person in your community of your choosing. And they're going to take one, make one, and pass it along. So it's kind of like the traveling butterflies. Um, 
by I mean I guess basically what will happen is this will go to one two three four five six seven eight people because there's only eight pieces so you'll t you'll pick one you'll recreate it you'll keep the one from the that you chose from Maggie you'll recreate your own and send the one you make with the other leftover pieces to someone of your choosing and then they'll do the same thing they'll take one keep it make one and pass it along so this each pack will go to eight people and I think the sunny days flowers I think there's either six or eight in the pack now tree already did this one so I'm for sure gonna send her the uh, crepe paper flower one oops I just gave it away okay so how's this gonna work well I really wanted this to be international but I didn't have the money to do it because my budget is spent as you know but thanks to crafty and Michelle thanks to crafty and Michelle and thanks to absolutely Alice we do have the money to do this so not only is this going to fulfill a we wish for a lot of people it's also going to be a way to inspire people to try making these and also just to, to within their own community so we are going to have a uk contingency a down under slash new zealand contingency a singapore contingency because g's tidbits also has trouble getting stuff folks and a, and a north american contingency and a canadian contingency so I'm going to, I'm waiting for the scrapbook.com order to come with the crepe paper flowers. And then I'm going to package it up and I'm going to be sending it to people in the UK, people down under. G is our only Singapore uh, individual. So I can just say to G, um, to someone in Canada. And we're going to have this circulating all over. And I'm also, I think I'm going to try to also send to Portugal. So... We have this really happening all over the world. Uh, I think I, I can just do it. So I'm very excited about this. And this would not have happened if it wasn't for Crafty Michelle and absolutely Alice. I, I really want to say that. I think that, you know, we always want to do something that's really wide ranging internationally. But it's the cost of postage, folks. It's so expensive. But thanks to their generosity and giving some of this money towards We Wishes, um, I have money for postage. So... I'm going to be picking people in the UK, Australia, G is our only Singapore contingency, Portugal. We have a couple of people from Portugal, so it'll see. We'll have to see who, who I'm sending to. Um, Canada and the US. Um, it's pretty amazing. This is actually going to go like all the way around. And you're just going to take one, make one, and pass it along to someone of your choosing in your community. And it'd be great if you could make a video showing us your version of what you made. But really, this is just about spreading love and creativity around the world. Um, you're not obliged if you don't feel comfortable doing a video. If you're somebody who prefers an Instagram post, that's fine too. It'd just be cool that we get to see, like we did with Tree, um, what you created. And yes, Tree, you are on the list. And I'm going to be sending you the crepe paper flower ones because you've already done this one. All right, y'all. So it's take one, make one, and pass it along. Entirely brought to you by Absolutely Alice and Crafty Michelle in the UK. Two super generous ladies who are expanding our reach internationally with We Wishes. Because I'm also, besides sending it to key people in each of those areas, I also now can send a We Wish to those people. So this is doing double duty. I, I'm just really grateful to you both. You're both a little sneaky. Alice in particular, you're sneaky but very much appreciated and to the angel who wanted to send that those funds to me it's not that i don't appreciate it i do and believe me i was stunned i was stunned but i really did take this on and i appreciate you wanting to help and i know it would get it done faster i'm not so sure actually because without the kids there's only so many i can i can package up in a day and there's only so many i can carry you guys to the post office like you'll you would laugh like, I have to bring my shopping cart with me to the post office when I do this. And it's full of packages. And it looks a little ridiculous. So I don't know that I would actually get any more out because it's a lot. Maybe I would. I don't know. But regardless, I took this on. And I just want to say thank you. It's not that I don't appreciate your gesture. Um, you know what? Use that to do a program like this. Where we get to do things around the world and bless people. And we get to share our creativity. And we get to make each other better makers. And we get to really open it up internationally. Uh, because what prevents us from doing that are finances. Right? So Crafty Michelle and Absolutely Alice, 
totally change the playing field. So more we wishes are going to go out and take me, take one, make one and pass it along gets to happen thanks to that. All right, y'all, please take a moment today to cheer on Crafty Michelle in the UK and Absolutely Alice because this is like really generous of both women. And again, they are very caring members of our community. Sometimes both of those ladies are more quiet and that's because they're so busy crafting folks. They're, they're really busy crafting. Alice sends me pictures of the most amazing things she works on. If you never really get to see what Absolutely Alice makes because she makes so many things that never get posted on YouTube but they are phenomenal. Like she made this drawer system. Sorry, Alice, I'm going to out you. She made this drawer system that goes like this and opens like a fan. I'm not kidding. It's like, I'm trying to learn how to build a basic candy box and Alice's are like four tiers and open like this. Yeah. And all Maggie inspired. She's like a jelly bean. She can build like, like a jelly bean or a Donna. Mm hmm. Only she's Maggie. Yeah. Like this. It was so impressive. Um, and Crafty Michelle is always busy making beautiful things like her pop-up cards, right? Like the, her Alice, her Alice pop-up work is like, I just want to stare at it for hours. You can see every ounce of her artistic training and what she creates. So I, at least I can all the time because I notice white space and proportion and I notice things on the color chart and, ah, sorry, that's nerdy Alicia. You can tell I'm not feeling well. So like a nerdy Alicia's brain takes over. But these two women are really, really incredible makers. And we get less of them because they're so busy making. Um, aren't we ever lucky? Mm -hmm. We are indeed. Every time they make a tutorial, I tell y'all, it's a gift. Right? Every time they make a project share, it's a gift. So uh, thank you for that alone. Well, doing this was really special of you. So take a moment today. I'm going to put both their channels down below. If you are not subscribed to either Crafty Michelle or Absolutely Alice, folks, you are so missing out. And I don't just mean because they're fabulous people. That's enough reason to subscribe. I mean because they're outstanding makers, like really outstanding makers, expert, expert level makers. And yet they're so relatable. They're like us. They're real people. They're real people making real crafts. They're real people living real lives. And I find them super fun to watch and also easy to follow. The other thing I love about both of them is that they always give credit like if they're ever inspired by anybody, they're like the first to say like, you know, when Alice made those amazing books and she made them very differently than Tony. She's like, but I learned how to do this from Tony Craftbridge. They're the first to say who inspired them to make something. Um, and Crafty Michelle innovates all sorts of things from paper mache to like these, I mean, she makes these like incredible, um, I want to say they're like sculptures. They're little sculptures, folks. And they're like paper mache people and they live in shadow boxes. Yeah, they're, Again, I don't think we see half of what Crafty Michelle innovates because she's too busy making. Yeah. So please, if you are not subscribed to them, I'm putting both their channels below and I'm going to put an end screen with a particular video of theirs that I love and take a moment to go and visit their channel to subscribe if you haven't. And please let them know today how much this was appreciated because take one, make one, pass it along and the extra we wishes that are going to go out now internationally wouldn't have happened without these two ladies. Thank you. Thank you so much. You both know I appreciate you both very much in my life, but I just need to say formally to, in front of everybody, thank you for doing this and for being so cognizant of how important it is. We all learn from each other and in an ideal world, this community would be completely international and you made that happen this round. Thank you. All right, y'all, your sick girl's going back to watching videos. Bye for now.